the crypto market might be on the edge of a nightmare. I know what you're thinking, Lark, we're already living the nightmare. What are you talking about? Well, I'm not talking about a potential bear market. I'm talking about something much, much worse, quantum computers. Yep, the quantum computing FUD is back again with vengeance. As quantum computing tech continues to get better, this FUD's only going to increase because it's the kind of technology that could literally crack Bitcoin and Ethereum's code wide open in just a few short years and send the prices of these assets essentially to zero. It's a risk that's being openly discussed by people closest to the tech. Now, according to Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin, top researchers and billionaire investors, we could only be two to five years away from hitting Bitcoin's quantum danger zone, which means the necessity to act is here in real. And when people like this are all flagging the same risk window at the same time, perhaps you should pay attention. So let's talk about the threat of quantum computing, not as baseless FUD, but so that you can understand the topic and inform yourself about what's going on, whether the concerns and risks are real and what needs to happen before it's too late. So let's be very clear. Quantum computing isn't going to break Bitcoin tomorrow, but developments are happening faster than people think. That means the threat is coming faster than you think, because just like with any exponential technology, it starts slowly, then it happens suddenly all at once. So there's no doubt about it. Quantum computing is a real risk. And the mistake we could all be making, of course, is assuming that quantum computers powerful enough to break crypto are decades away because they're likely not. Vitalik predicts that there's a 20% chance that quantum advancements could break Bitcoin by 2030. Scott Aronson, a leading quantum computing researcher, says that once the error correcting problem is solved, that then becomes the moment that quantum computers can reliably do calculations without screwing up. And that is when they will start accelerating fast. But the scary thing is, you don't need a giant flawless quantum computer with millions and millions of qubits to do some kind of damage. You just need enough qubits that work reliably to run the specific program, and that could be enough to break Bitcoin's encryption. And he believes this could realistically threaten Bitcoin before the next US presidential election in 2028. That's really, really close. Billionaire investor Chamath Balahapatiya Let's put a hard investor-friendly timeline on it using Google's prototype Willow quantum chip as a reference point to measure progress. He says we were effectively on a two to five year shot clock. Right now, Google's Willow chip proves that error correction can exist because it uses one qubit. To actually do any damage, that has to scale to around 4,000 qubits to break RSI 2048, which is the most internet encryption, and the closer to the 8,000 qubits to the SHA-256 algorithm, which is the foundation of Bitcoin's security code. So Willow isn't dangerous on its own. Certainly not yet, but we're on the path. We keep getting closer. The risk comes from how fast that path can be scaled. Again, Chamath Balhapatiya believes this will happen within two to five years. And while that sounds terrifying, it gets worse. Oh, it always gets worse. But hey, you know what's not terrible? Getting sweet trading bonuses. Because guess what? Price up, price down, XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, whatever you want to trade, you can trade it, you can make money in any market. Here's the deal. Sign up to BitUnix. I've been trading over there for a while now. In fact, most of my futures trading over there on BitUnix right now. If you want to join me trading over there, it's never been a better time to long the rip, short the dips, all that kind of stuff. Link down below. You get insane deposit bonus. Listen to this, deposit a thousand bucks, get 200 bucks back, 2,000, you get 400 back. In fact, they've got all the way up to crazy whale bonuses, like you deposit 50K and you get 5K back. That's nuts, man. Okay, it's crazy stuff. Link down below, go check it out. Again, it's available to anyone, anywhere, which means you. So if you wanna start trading on BitUnix, you can do it. Now look, the it gets worse part. Quantum computing doesn't have to break all of Bitcoin to break the market. The weak links are already sitting out in the open. Deloitte estimates that around 25% of Bitcoin is already vulnerable right now. These are coins that haven't moved in years and are mostly sitting in old wallets that have exposed public keys. Think about stuff like early Satoshi era wallets, dormant addresses, sloppy exchange accounts that haven't upgraded security. And yes, this includes Satoshi's own stash of a million coins, which could theoretically hit the open market if broken into. They're in a lot of different wallets, but still, once they start breaking one, they'll break others. Remember, Satoshi's stash is believed to be around 1.1 million BTC. That would just crush everything instantly. Whatever price targets you think to the downside, make them lower. The reason this stash matters isn't just because it's massive, it matters 
because of how those early addresses were created. They are the first Bitcoin transactions. They used a wallet format called pay to public key, which exposes the public key on chain permanently. Most modern Bitcoin addresses use a hashed version of the public key like SegWit, which keeps that key hidden until a spend happens giving them a protective layer against these quantum threats. But Satoshi's old addresses put the public key out in the open forever, meaning if a quantum computer powerful enough does arrive, they're all sitting there, man. Attackers wouldn't have to wait for a transaction to expose anything. It's all exposed already. They already have the key that they need to start breaking in. Hackers don't go for Fort Knox first, they go for the low hanging fruit. A few well-targeted attacks on these weak points and the old addresses and the Satoshi coins could spark panic, flash crashes and liquidity shocks long before quantum computing ever actually threatens the network as a whole. Add in the fact that many institutional players and exchanges hold concentrated amounts of Bitcoin and even a minor exploit could ripple through the market in hours. Things get real crazy real fast, okay? So the quantum clock is ticking. It's a real threat. The question is how soon is it a threat? The network's most exposed coins could be the first dominoes to fall. Those are the Satoshi coins, the biggest bags out there, the juiciest apple to pull from the tree. Investors ignoring this threat aren't being safe, they're being complacent. The truth is by the time quantum becomes powerful enough to threaten the network as a whole, it will be too late to upgrade. It'll be too late for some coins to be saved. There's a whole conversation around, well, if we do upgrade the Bitcoin network to new wallet standards and all this stuff, basically we're just resigning to the fact that Satoshi's coins will get hacked and distributed back into the network at some point. That's why the next few years are critical. So by now I know you're probably thinking, OMG, I should just sell all my crypto today. This whole market's screwed anyway. It's all bullshit. Get out of the scam market. First, never panic sell your crypto over FUD, okay? Remember, if quantum computing can crack your crypto, it can crack literally everything else too. Oh, you're just worried about Bitcoin. No, 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 dog. Every password you've ever had, every website, every bank account, it's all crackable. You think your bank's gonna upgrade in time? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the good news is, the Bitcoin network can be upgraded to defend against quantum attacks. The bad news is it's not as simple as flipping a switch. Okay, right now developers and researchers are already talking about quantum resistant cryptography and protocol changes that would protect the network before it's too late. One major proposal is BIP360. This proposal introduces a pay to quantum resistant hash output type. This would reshape how Bitcoin transactions are actually secured by laying the groundwork for a post quantum signature algorithm. These are designed to withstand quantum attacks. And it can be rolled out without a hard fork, meaning that the Bitcoin network wouldn't need to launch an entirely new and separate blockchain. There are also hard fork proposals in early stages that would essentially enforce a migration away from legacy transaction signatures and toward quantum safe ones, possibly with deadlines after which outdated cryptography would simply get rejected by the network. Interesting proposal. But getting the Bitcoin community to agree on basically anything ever is difficult, even the color of the sky. It's blue. It's not blue. It's light gray. Gosh darn it. Anyway, Bitcoin upgrades require agreement among thousands of nodes, miners, wallets, and exchanges, and developers. That's the curse of decentralization, but it also means we're probably going to get something that's pretty good at the end. Having said that, the fact that people are talking about this right now shows the ecosystem is not ignoring the problem, which is good. So no, Bitcoin is not doomed, but it does require awareness, coordination, and action before the quantum clock runs out. Okay, this is not a reason to panic but it is a reason to pay attention to keep your eye on what's happening here because the next few years will shape Bitcoin's long-term survival or lack thereof. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.